begin by allowing your body to become comfortable. Find a position for your body that feels good to you right now. Maybe it's sitting on a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's another position like standing. In any case, whatever position you're in, allow your body to become comfortable. Enjoy the comfort and ease that comes with the particular position that you find your body in right now. Having found a comfortable position for your body, allow your body to relax. If there's any muscular tension that's present for you at this time, anywhere in your body, see if you can invite it to relax, to let go, to loosen. Tightness may or may not be willing to do that. See if you can invite relaxation into your body. Feel your body relaxing and enjoy that. And having found a comfortable posture for your body and relaxing into that, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile on your face. Maintain that and enjoy it. This is the basic place that we want to begin metta practice from. Comfortable position of the body, relaxing into that, and inviting a gentle, easy smile to the face. Preparing the body for metta practice in this way. Like slowly dipping our bodies into a jacuzzi after a long day. Enjoy that in your body for another moment.
Very good. Now, with your mind, reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for. These could be big things or small things, ordinary things or special things. Reflect on anything at all in your life that you feel grateful for. as you consider this intellectually in your mind. Notice if there's any response in the body, a surge of joy, a feeling of warmth, gratitude. If there's any response in the body as you consider the things that you're grateful for, notice that and enjoy it. Consider the things that you're grateful for in your life for another moment. Very good. Now we'll transition into metta practice. Consider someone, real or imaginary, a person or an animal, that's easy for you to feel love for. If you're not sure who to pick, you could imagine a baby or a puppy or a kitty, or a panda bear. You could also use a real person or animal in your life that's easy for you to feel love for. It doesn't matter so much who it is. In any case, select someone that's easy for you to feel love for. Visualize this person or animal in your mind's eye, perhaps at a time in which they were happy, laughing, filled with joy. Visualize this person or animal being happy in your mind.
notice if simply visualizing this person or animal being happy in your mind's eye has any effect or response in the emotional body. Perhaps the smile on your face widens, deepens. Perhaps there's a sense of warmth or love or care in your heart. If there's any positive emotional reaction in your body, notice that and really enjoy it. Soak it up, even if it's small, really savor it. If you'd like, you can add phrases using mental talk in your mind, saying something like, I hope that you are so happy right now, or all I want for you is to be truly happy, or any phrase that you like really. If it feels helpful, you can use mental talk to wish that this person might be happy, filled with love and joy. It doesn't really matter whether you use images or talk, visual or auditory content in your mind. What matters is the attention that this person or animal that you've selected be happy, that you're wishing them well, cultivating a friendly attitude towards them. Use your mind, whether it's images or talk, to direct happiness towards this person that you've selected. And notice if there's any response in the body. Continue to direct happiness towards the person or animal that you've selected for another moment.
In a moment, we'll transition to a new person to send metta towards. Before we do that, notice how your emotional body feels right now. Perhaps there are difficult emotions. If so, notice that and allow that and to whatever extent you can care for those emotions. Perhaps the emotional body is neutral, not much going on. So you can enjoy the peace that comes with that. If there's any positive emotions that have come from doing this metta practice, notice that, enjoy it. And see if you can sustain those feelings, maintaining them even as we transition from one object to a new object, from one person to another. See if you can maintain those positive feelings and even allow them to grow despite switching who you're directing this metta towards. Visualize in your mind's eye, your father. Perhaps at a time when he was happy and you were happy. Visualize the two of you being happy together. If it's difficult to remember such a time, you can make it up doesn't really matter so much. Just imagine in your mind's eye, you and your father being truly happy together, laughing, smiling, playing, enjoying each other's company. Visualize the scene in your mind's eye Again, if there's any positive emotional response in the body, notice that and really enjoy it. Soaking it up, savoring it. Again, if it's helpful or makes it easier, feel free to use phrases, mental talk in your mind as well, or even instead of the images. 
you could use a phrase like, I love you, dad. Or I love you so much. Or any phrase that might feel good to you, direct towards your father. See if you can cultivate an attitude of love, care, friendliness, and goodwill towards your father. Feel free to change the images or the talk, the phrases that you use to direct love towards your father. You don't have to stay with the same image or the same phrases. The main thing is to use your mind to generate an attitude of love for your father. And if that attitude arises, Feel that fully in the body and enjoy it. Feel love for your father. there is any positive emotional response in the body, if you feel joy or love or care, allow yourself the gift of fully feeling that, fully enjoying it. Continue to cultivate this 
attitude and feeling of love for your father for another moment. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? Did you face any challenges? Did you discover anything? Reflect intellectually on this period of practice for just a moment. Very good. And as you're ready, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 